Dave, in each of the periods, it looks like Vegas came out guns a blazing, got on the board relatively quickly, but your team was able to respond each time. How did you uh, assess that from your team tonight? Uh, I thought the first period, they certainly had lots of jump. You could tell that they had a purpose to come out and start strong with us playing last night. Um, you know, they put a lot of pressure on us. We turned some pucks over to accentuate that pressure a little bit. And then we got, we got uh, our power play got us a big goal there to kind of get us even, get our feet under us. Second period, uh, we were much better. Our power play had some great chances and wouldn't go in the net. And then the third period, it was kind of a seesaw. We give up one on a faceoff, and then Cass gets a big goal. And uh, you could tell well, there's some fatigue in our group, but uh, we hung in there. Koski hung in there, played very well, and we were able to get the win. Uh, Zach came into training camp putting a lot on himself after the year he had last season. I know we've talked about that line, but when it comes to Zach particularly, how great is it to see a guy as his head coach get a big one like that? It, it, you know what, he's been, like you say, he's been excellent since the start of camp. He came in in great shape and he's he's playing with purpose, a real purpose, you know, and it's, uh, um, you know, I think he felt bad about the penalty that uh, he took there in the third. Our guys did a good job of killing it and then turns around he gets a big goal. So that's, uh, that's you know, he's having a year like that, that things are going right for him. It's good to see for him. Dave, did you uh, see a different style of play from them without Stone, without Pacioretty, especially on offense and how they kind of came? I, I worry about our team, not their team. Dave, you were talking about the power play, and, and it seemed like the one that you didn't score on in, in the second period. It was a little like the Harlem Globetrotters. I mean, they were just yeah, tossing. What did, I mean? Lots of, chan lots of chances. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. You know, we've been fortunate this year. The, uh, the puck's gone in for us quite a bit. We had, I think Connor hit a post. We had some around the net. So. That's the way it goes sometimes, but uh, but we had lots of looks. You know, we were happy with what we were doing, just didn't go in for us. What do you make of the way this season has has started? I mean, uh, not just necessarily the record, but what you think of the way you've worked to get to this point. You know, that's what we talked about before the game. Is we the work we put in so far in training camp and the first four games lead to a game against uh, Vegas on a back-to-back, -back, which you know Vegas is. Their uh, season hasn't gone as well as they'd like so far. They were going to be hungry. So it was a real test for our team. And, uh, you know, we, they tested us hard. We, we bent a little bit, but we didn't break. And that's uh, as your team kind of continues to go on through the season, you've got to build confidence in things that sometimes when it's going well, sometimes it's not going well, you still got to find a way to win. And uh, so we've talked about that. Our guys hung in there, and it's... Uh, it's a good feeling around our group right now. Now, that being said, it's still early. We've got lots of work to do. Dave, you shuffled things up in the lineup tonight to bring in some fresh yeah. legs. Uh, also, Bouchard on the top pair. How did you think he fared, especially in the last few minutes when he was, he was he preserving? Was excellent. He's, a, he's a really good young player. He was excellent for us. And, uh, you know, we've uh, this, this two games is kind of a team building trip for us. So I wanted to make sure everybody played. So the three guys that uh, sat out last night all played tonight. So. We want to make sure everybody feels a part of it, and uh, you know we have, we have a really good group in there. They're they're a, a group that cares about each other, works hard, and we don't want to exclude exclude anybody from that. So those guys jumped in. All of them did a pretty good job. Uh, and Zach Hyman, another multi-goal game for him. Yeah. Uh, I found out this stat. I don't know if this is if you knew this, but it's his first time again in multi-goal games in back-to-back -back games since 2011 in the OHL. Are you as surprised as I was when I read that? <laughs> I wouldn't have gone digging for that stat, but if you're saying it's true, it's true, I guess. All it's right. funny, it's funny. Himes, he's, he scores a lot of goals from about the one-inch line, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is good. There's, somebody's got to be there. Yeah. Here, a couple questions on Zoom. Jim Matheson, go ahead. Uh, Dave, uh, the play to Kelsey and from Duncan Keith, was that a typical Duncan Keith play that you've seen a million times where all of a sudden, the puck was on a guy's stick and he had a break one? He, he snaps it pretty good, and it, uh, I, don't think it's, I don't think they've changed the stitch yet, but it, it deflected off uh, Fogel on the way to Cass, and then Cass had a step on him and, uh, and made a good, good play on the net, and, and uh, we got ourselves kind of righted there a little bit. We gave up the one goal, and Cass, we got it right back, so it was, uh, that was a big goal for us. But uh, Keith, that's the one thing about him that you notice. He, come, he passes the puck hard. He snaps it quick and hard. And you better be ready for it. And it worked out for us. Mark Spector, go ahead. Hi, Dave. Uh, 
I guess lost in this is Connor McDavid is just playing some of the best hockey in his life here. Uh, do we do we kind of get used to this? He's had multi-point games in every single game this season. Uh, you know, are we taking this for granted, or are we seeing, are we noticing this, Dave? Well, I don't know if you notice it, but I notice it. <laughs> I notice it every night when when he's doing the things he's doing. Is it helps our team win every night. And uh, you know, the good thing about it, he's. He's kind of humming along here. I, I don't see his attitude. Nothing changes about him. He just goes out and plays and tries to help our team win. So it's if you walk by him or if you didn't look at the stats somewhere, when talking to him, you'd never know what's happening, but it is. And that's just that's who he is, you know. Daniel Andrew Bowman, go ahead. Uh, Dave, how, how would you compare to the way the team has started the year and played uh, this season? compared to year five and I'll start a couple of years ago. And what gives you the confidence that you can keep it going this year? Was it uh, compared to last year, you're saying? Sorry, comp compared to when you started uh, five and oh, two years ago when, you're, when you first started with oh, the team. Yeah. Um, and, and what gives you the confidence that you can kind of continue that this season? Well, I like some of the things we're doing as a team. You know, we, we found different ways to win. Um, our goaltending has been solid. You know, we the added depth we have is really having an impact on our lineup. So it's, uh, you know, I like I like what we're doing. You know, there's still, like I said, it's still early. We've got we've got some work to do, and there's some things that uh, can improve in our game. But uh, you know, every every season is a different year. We started two years ago. We started off five and zero. We were, went on a long road trip there, and we're kind of got uh, got some momentum going. But it feels a little different this year. It feels like we've had a good training camp, gone into the season ready to go and able to find some wins. Final question, Terry Jones. Can you go into the uh, face-off uh, story that's going on here? Uh, it, it seems like, well, I mean, we're used to the face-off numbers being in the bottom half of the league. I think you're third or something going into tonight's game. Obviously, Ryan is a big factor, but you're... Uh, the two superstars have had a dramatic uh, improvement in that area. It's not that there's anything wrong with them. It's been very, it's been very good, Terry. I mean, we've got, like you say, we've got some different people that can really uh, uh, have done well this year. It just, unfortunately, tonight we gave up two, <laughs> two goals off faceoffs. But, but we've been pretty good for the most part. Our percentages are high. When you've got a team that likes to play with the puck, if you can start with a puck off faceoffs, that's a big, uh, big advantage. So. Our guys work hard at it. Brian Wiseman does a great job with our face-off guys, not just the face-off, but what happens after the face-off. So, um, you know, we, we put a lot of onus on that, and the guys have really improved, and it's, it's uh, helping us win.